Okay. So what have you been doing during this oh. strange time other than tick tocking with your I've been, mind? <laughs> I've been tick tocking up a storm. I was like, I need some kind of outlet that's not music because I don't feel, I feel kind of sad if I'm honest. And so like every time I sit down to write, I'm like, it's not, it's not what I'm, it's not like helping me out of my funk. So I've been making TikToks every day, which has been bringing me so much joy. Me too. And then, yeah. <laughs> It's so joyful. Your TikToks have been bringing oh. joy. <laughs> so sorry, that means so much to me. I've been trying to work out as much as I can. I've been doing, I saw you do it too, that Erin O'Crea app. So good. And I got She's to interview her the other day. She is, I, I think I have a girl crush on her. I'm not really oh. sure. But. Dude, I used to, I, I got to work out with her a handful of times, like with uh, like training sessions and like her personality is so up and it makes working out fun. Yeah. And, and then you don't have to think about it. You don't have to be like, what am I going to do? You just sit and, and do her program. So yeah. I've been doing a lot of that. And then Kyle and I have been playing video games and drinking wine and playing cards and nice. just staying happy. So what video games are you playing? Because Steven is trying to guilt me into playing with him in every way possible and I have not caved yet. And he, if he hears that you have been playing with Kyle, he's gonna be like, see, Emily does it. <laughs> what games does he play? He's like addicted to NHL on. Okay, okay. Um, but he has golf, he has Call of Duty, he has, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Kyle's a big Fortnite guy. I don't play a lot of Fortnite, but FIFA, and then we've been playing Mario Kart. Mario, oh, that I'm in 100%. That's, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not playing, like, I'm not playing the other stuff. Okay. I'm Mario Party, Mario Kart, anything Mario related, we are ripping it. We get so competitive, and it's so fun. Okay, I played Mario Tennis with him one time. That was one of my favorites. Um, I get, like, he's competitive, but he doesn't get mad. I get yeah. mad, and I literally will throw my controller, and I'm like, I'm out. I, yeah. I, mm -mm. <laughs> It's so funny to watch yourself do that too, where you're like, I'm getting kind of pissed off that you're beating me right now. And you're like, I'm, I'm like, I love you, but man, I could punch you right now. I Just could punch you right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially after you've been spending all this time together. Yeah. We so, yeah, been play because he's been like writing and working on music and I've been interviewing pretty much every hour of the day. So we literally at like five o'clock, we're like, hey, where have you been? Yeah. I think that's, that's so great to have a little bit of separation. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just interesting times. It's like whatever, anything goes right now. Yeah. For sure. Airport rules, baby. Like whatever's yeah. making me happy, you rock it. I think the TikToks are making up for the fact that I haven't seen you do any airport, um, reviews, <laughs> airport lounge reviews. Like I missed that. I'm like, somebody put that girl on a plane. Like no one else is flying right now. She should at least be able to fly. Get me on a plane. I miss, I miss, I miss everything. I miss the world. I miss people. I miss, I am not built for this life. I'm not built. This is bringing out. <laughs> but what I miss more than anything is traveling. And I miss those friggin' airport lounges. I want to be in them so bad. I want to drink that wine. I want to eat some snacks. I want to feel bougie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell everyone about every airport lounge. I wanna, exactly. I miss it so much. So it's been a, it's like a funny thing to complain about, but I, I definitely miss traveling a lot. Are you liking LA though? Or are you missing Nashville? You know, it's such a great question. Like I had planned on doing a lot more splitting of my time. Um, just like with writing and, and career and stuff, but obviously I'm stuck here, not, but, which is yeah. not a terrible thing. It's just like, I haven't had a chance to discover it, um, or do any exploring, but the weather is unbelievable. I know. And it's hot during the day, but it's cold at night. It's not like Nashville where it's like super duper humid all the time. Um, but I, I, I miss it a lot and I miss, I miss the writing community. I miss my friends. So yeah. it's been tough. I can understand that. Um, yeah. I, have you ever met Russell Dickerson? Yes, he's, uh, he's unbelievable. He's one of the I, nicest guys ever. I think that you are the male and female version of each other. We actually, someone was saying that I was writing at Creative Nation and Shayna was like, you are the female R Russell Dickerson. And I was like, what's his Enneagram number? Which is like this personality test. And we're yeah. both sevens. So we're like the enthusiastic joy guys. So it makes a lot of sense that we're like both zingy something has to happen with the two of you because i said that the other day i did like a zoom thing with him and i was sitting downstairs and i was like steven i feel like i know someone that is like like russell in so many ways like in all of it like the energy the goofiness 
the the wine, the like dancing. And then I was like, I'm pretty sure it's Emily. I'm like almost positive. I'm like, they either have to tour or collaborate together at some point. One of the two or do like um, a in, uh, TikTok installation series, find something to riff on and just try to do it together. That would be a great idea. I Are support it. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to try to encourage him to do that. I love that so much. Yeah, he's wonderful and I love Kaylee and they're both just fabulous. Yeah. And they're pregnant. I know. That's very exciting. I saw oh. that. Um, they're going to be the cutest parents in the world. Oh, I know. And so, like just, just joyful parents. I would, I kind of want them to adopt me, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah. then you guys could dance and drink wine and do TikToks. Yeah, exactly. Like, Hey Jeff. What you <laughs> <on TikTok?" laughs> um, okay. Have you gotten a lot of, I, I can ask you about this because I'm also engaged now. So I feel like, but have you gotten a lot of people being like, so, you know, when are you going to have a big wedding? And also, are you guys planning on having kids? Have you had that question? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like, and I don't blame people for it because I do the same thing when it's like, oh, you're oh, engaged. What are you getting married? You're on the other side of it. It is so weird. And you're like, well, first of all, I don't know when the world's going to open back up yet. So I am actually so thankful we didn't start planning because so many pals this summer have to reschedule. And it oh. sucks. So, um, yeah, I get that question all the time. Then we get the baby question and I'm like, <laughs> we haven't even had the, had the wedding yet. Yeah. We haven't even had the wedding. We're, we're probably going to, I mean, we were going to elope anyways. So where were you going to go? We literally would be leaving tomorrow for Hawaii. No way. We had to cancel it. Yeah. Such oh, a bummer. That's such a bummer. I love that you're going to elope though. Yeah, we are both like 100%. It was like such a relief. We were on the same page. We were, I was just like, I don't really want to have a big wedding. And he was like, me neither. He literally has a song called Just Married that's about like how all of the things about a wedding are like not. Yeah, I think that's so, you just been, I mean, to each their own, whatever anyone wants to do. But it's like a lot of pressure, a lot of expectation and a lot of money, whether you can save to do other things. So. Yeah. Sure. I think, I think whatever works, works, works for the couple, but eloping does sound amazing. <laughs> I know, especially on a beach in Hawaii, which I think would be really nice right now. You guys could still elope in Nashville. You I know. just but, get married. Yep. We could totally do that. Are you going to change know. your name? Pardon? Are you going to change your name? I don't know, but I, <laughs> I mean, I've toyed with the idea, which is like really fun. Shannon Ella Olson, which is like, <laughs> I actually love that. Yeah. I think my like we don't have any men in the family so i kind of want to keep ella in some way yeah 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 chant, and I it love sounds that. like a little chant that i will do it whenever i'm like hey it's shannon ella olsen <laughs> <laughs> that's actually perfect yeah, i know um okay um i have some wine trivia oh please i'm gonna fail but i'm so excited um i just have to find it because of course i misplaced it um of course. I was reading through these and I was like, man, I would not do good at this. I mean, I like wine, but I definitely don't know anything about it. I, I know very little as well, but I, I, I'm a big drinker of it. So we'll see. A drinker of it. Okay. True or false? So we are doing wine trivia with the lovely Emily Reed in kind of wine country or at least close to it. Close dri driving distance. So that's great. Have you been to mm -hmm. Napa? Okay. When this lockdown is done... Let's go. I'm going to come to California and we're going to do a Napa wine tour. That sounds like the greatest trip ever. And we're going to yes, bike. Come. We're going to bike and drink wine. <laughs> yes. Okay. I need, it. I need it. Now for us to learn about wine. Here we go. Um, right. True or false, red wine is made from red grapes and white wine is made from white grapes. False. Good girl. Red wine gets its color because the grape skins are left to ferment with the juice. Ooh. And then the white wine, the skin is removed before fermentation. Interesting. I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I you sure do. don't. Look at your ghost, I, I sure this. don't. Um, hmm, that's a word I don't understand. Um, so we're going to move on. Love it. What was Dom Perignon's occupation when he invented champagne? No idea. <laughs> no idea. Um, you definitely, I would have been shocked if you had have said this. <laughs> he was a monk. Yeah. What? I know. And he invented champagne. 
That says a lot about monks. Yeah. <laughs> it does. There's a le lesson in this. <laughs> I really, I'm thinking about that and I'm like, wow, there is a lesson there. Yeah, monks there is. And pain. It kind of goes together in an interesting way. It does. In a, yeah, it sure does. Um, okay. Which South American wine countries are known for their good value red wine? Chile. And second one? Argentina. Nice. Good girl. Wow. Okay. Love to, love to see it. What kind of French wine is traditionally made from the Pinot Noir grape? No idea. Burgundy. Oh, I know that. Interesting. Yeah. See, now when you go to drink wine with people, you're going to have I'm so much useless knowledge that you learned from me. You're going to be like, you know what Dom Perignon was when he invented champagne? <laughs> He was a monk, actually. Um, slaint? Is that S-L-A-I-N-T-E? Is a typical toast in which country? Mm, Scandinavia. No, but good guess. Way to throw it out there. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly, but it's um, Ireland and the world means health. Interesting. I like that. Slaint. I like, I like <laughs> I love that. Latte. Latte. <laughs> uh, okay. True or false? Fortified wines have been distilled to have a greater alcohol content. False. Good job. Fortified wines have had brandy or another spirit added to them. Ooh. Which I did not know. I know that. That's it. That's all the wine questions I have for you. Good oh, job. I'm so nervous, but we nailed it. I know. You did good. You knew stuff that I was like, I don't know if she's going to know any of these on here, but I just went with my gut and it prevailed. <laughs> I liked when you knew Chile and Argentina. That was like, what's, are you, I feel like you're a red wine girl, right? I'm red wine only actually. Like, oh, okay. I, I had, um, I'll, I'll drink white wine sometimes and I'm a little bit of a hater of rosé. I know that's controversial, but part of me growing up was admitting like, I'm not a big rosé guy. Yeah. Me and too. you know, ladies want to split a bottle and you're like, I don't want to do that. No. And it is literally a headache in a bottle. It's a headache in a bottle. And yeah. I'm, my body's so used to the red wine that I'll drink it when it's hot out. I'll drink it when it's cold. I'll drink it in, at any time. And I just, I love it. We're bonded. It's my thing. Yeah. You and red wine go together. Like, we're, yes, we're so happy <laughs> together, but yeah, rosé and white, I'm a little, I'll, I'll drink it, but it's not my favorite. Yeah. I'm a Pinot Grigio is like my go-to. Love it. I love that. Um, so speaking of wine, not only do you like drinking it, but you like singing about it. I'm singing about it, baby. How excited are you about that song being out to the world? Like uh, everyone's going to be able to play it on their radios and drive you know, around or sit in their house. It was such a funny decision. Like we had, you know, we were like, what, what, what are we going to do for the next single? And it was just like taking me a second to get my mind around things. And then this pandemic happened and it was like, this is our, my life right now. And it just felt like it was a song that was, you know, meant just for fun. And, and, and now it's kind of like taking on a funny and little new meaning. And I'm just so excited to share it with people. And I just hope in this time, because I feel like my, my strength is being kind of a joy person, a joy bringer. And I just hope that when people hear this for three minutes, they can just feel like, woohoo! <laughs> Grab a glass of wine, dance around the living room. Dance around the living room, just let your hair down and forget about all the crazy stuff that's happening right now because it's going to end eventually and you might as well drink wine through it. And wine will always be there for you even when this is all over. It'll always be there for you no matter what. It is so reliable. Yes. Except when you drink too much and it turns on you. So yeah. play within the limits. <laughs> but it's still there to like, once you get over it, you can rekindle that relationship. 100%. It's a very reliable relationship and I'm grateful for it. <laughs> but you have, you have other songs about wine that are we ever going to hear those? I mean, I've yeah. maybe heard them before. Yeah, it's but... all coming. It's all, it's all coming. We're okay. like, boys release as many songs about beer and whiskey as they want. And I'm like, well, we can have a few wine songs. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it, it's coming in. It's coming, it's coming sooner than we think, which is really exciting. Okay. Good. I like that because why not have as many songs about wine as you want? Yeah, hundred percent. Like it's working, so let's think about it. You froze for a second, but now you're back. Okay, good. 
Oh, there you go. Um, okay, cool. So we can obviously like wine is out in the world and I hope, are, is it released radio already? Yeah, it went, I think last Friday or two Fridays ago. Cool. So people can so, request it. I'm going to play please. my show. Yes, sister, come on. Let's go, um, let's go, let's party. And then we're just going to, from now until the next time I see you, we'll just count down the days until we actually get to finally drink wine together. <laughs>